yeah. They are hot. And they are gravy. Yeah, that's delicious. Lots of gravy. There you go, y'all guys. Gross British dinner slash Jamaican. Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back, you guys. Welcome back to another one of my video. Welcome back to my channel. And of course, you know you are watching Classy Andrew TV. Yes, this is my university. I think I'm going to ask you guys for some help. I do need your help, guys. Because as you know, I have recently um, reached my target on YouTube, which is that dreaded 1,000 over how many years. And less than two days, I have been monetized. So that's really, you know, I'm really excited about that. But now I'm at the place now as to what do I need to vlog. What do I need to share with you guys? So I would like for you guys to, you know, communicate with me a bit more as to what kind of video you'd like to see from me. Because as you know, there's no set theme on my channel. You know, I'll do cooking, I'll do gardening, which is one of my main um, topic on this channel anyway. Because that's why I opened the channel in the first place, was to share my garden. But with the garden, there is winter okay <laughs> i can't go on all year round and so when it's wait when it's cold and damp as it is today you're not going to find me out in the garden at all so i might do like go to do shopping take it to the supermarket and just you know just do other stuff that's why i don't have a set channel set theme for my channel but I would like to get your help as to what kind of video you'd like to see from me, you know? Because I'm looking through my my playlist and and they're all random. My views are random. There's, you know, there's no set video that popped out to say, yes, you guys actually mainly want to see this type of video from me. So, yeah. So, today... I'm going to be doing some cooking. <laughs> it's Sunday. Happy Sunday to you all. If you're watching this video on a Sunday, I'll try and get it out as soon as I can. But you might just get it in the week. So, yes, I'm doing some cooking. And I'm going to be cooking some roast chicken. British Sunday dinner today. Roast chicken, roast potato, parsnip. And um, maybe stuffing. Yeah. Or maybe some Yorkshire pudding. Yeah. So come with me, you guys. Let's go to the kitchen. And before then, I'm going to take you to the garden and show you as to why I cannot be doing any gardening video at the moment. Because I know some people say that, well, there are other people that do gardening, do have gardening videos out. There's other things they can talk about too, during the winter season. But as I said to you guys before, I'm not a professional gardener. I'm just a person who loves to do gardening. I garden for my health and well-being because, you know, it's help with if I'm feeling low or I'm, I'm a bit depressed, gardening just, you know, lift my spirit. And I just share it with you guys because, you know, I like to share. <laughs> and I'm now a YouTuber. <laughs> and that's what I do. So, yeah. So, I'm going to take you out to the garden and show you that there are some beautiful um, things happening out there at the moment. Because the daffodils, they are out. They are in bloom, as a matter of fact. And normally this time of the year, I'll be trying to arrange them and, you know, let them put on a show. But I just do not have the drive right now because it's just too cold, okay? So let's go in, y'all guys. Let's go to the garden and then I'll come back to the kitchen and we can cook. And maybe have a chat at the same time. How about that? Okay, guys, the lighting is a bit funny. <laughs> guys, a bit funny. But let's take it to the garden and show you what I'm on about. Ooh, I told it's really cold out there. Even though I've got clothes on the line, guys. What am I like? I've got clothes on the line. Ooh. Yeah. So, there it is. Let's show you. Can you see? 
yeah they are out and they are beautiful I need you gardeners to help me Oops. I've pruned my rose I should have pruned it maybe I, I should prune it now isn't it I'm not so sure but there right over here there's some daffodil here as you can see but there are some more I'm not sure what they are I don't think it's lilies because my lilies normally comes up around May but there are some other bulbs poking through so I'll keep you up to date with that yeah let's show you the back of the yard now Ooh, it's really cold guys I've got my throat on let's turn around and you can see okay guys as you can see down here there are some daffodils coming through as well I mean they're out and in bloom as well and over there yeah it's so cold guys so see the garden is asleep and that is why I can't do gardening this time of the year because it's just would be too much for me and there's nothing much to do and there's some daffodil in that pot over there as well they did really well last year yeah so yeah so there's a lot of bulbs coming through there's some tulips coming through there as well and there's tulips here and over there so yeah they show you around the front as well Alright, let's go around the front I just wonder if they need some water. They just look so dead. Or <laughs> they're just cold. Maybe they're just cold. But yeah. Right. So there you go. So the daffodils are out. So let's go back in now, guys. Let's go in the kitchen and cook my dinner. So okay guys, hope you can see me because it's so dark in here. I'm going to turn the light on and see if it might be any different. Oh my god, the lighting is not at its best guys. Not at its best. But anyway, let's show you what I'm doing today. So that's the chicken here. I'm going to roast it. See, it's nicely seasoned up. I seen it before I went out. So what I'm going to do now, you guys, let me show you how I roast my chicken these days. I will put it obviously in this container here and I'll fill this with some water put in there, cover it over so it will steam and bake at the same time. It's really nice because I like my chicken well done, but at the same time, I don't want it to dry out too much. I want it to really be crispy but at the same time with the water would help it to, to keep it nice and soft okay okay my people uh-huh they mean this one and if my if you hear my voice sounds a little bit hoarse guys i have been trying to get rid of this i've been trying to get rid of this this uh, 
yeah, I've been having a bad cough for about, let's see, probably about five days now. And I used this here to see if it could help me. <laughs> But it hasn't been helping that much. So I'll stick to my regular like lime, honey, and rum. So my throat is still a bit husky. And that is why I spend most of my time indoors these days. Because I don't want to catch a cold, guys. You know, it's so funny. Right through the old COVID season, I had I just one or two sniffs that I might have. But I was fine. And now I'm just constantly catching this sniff this you know throat the other day I was chesty now it's my throat so I don't know I don't know I know they said okay it is um that season yeah so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to put the chicken in here and get on with it here guys okay and of course I'll be adding some parsnip and some mushroom as well because Jade is a love of mushrooms these days. She never used to like mushrooms when she was growing up. That's my daughter. If you're new here, my name is Classy Andrew, and you're watching Classy Andrew TV. I've got two children. One is called Conardo, the other is called Jade. You will see Jade a lot on my channel, but she's studying, guys. She's at university. It's her third year at university, and she is busting her head off. So. When you hear me mention Jade, I'm talking about my daughter, okay? I mainly just say Jade because most of you by now are familiar <laughs> with my channel, so I can call the name. But I know some of you who are new here might be like, who is Jade? Well, Jade is my daughter, okay, guys? Yeah, and I'm going to make some carrot juice. The lime one, not the milky one, but lime. Carrot, of course, and a bit of rum, Jamaican rum. Yeah. Ray and nephew. Can you see? Yeah. Okay, people, so let me get on with this now. And I might have some pineapple. I might make some pineapple juice. Yeah, I might just do that instead of the carrot juice. Mm. Watch on and see what I get up to in the kitchen today. If it's going to be carrot juice or pineapple. Okay. So I decide to go along with the carrot because I've got some frozen um, pineapple. So I'm going to mix them together. Yeah. That makes sense. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. That makes a lot of sense. Carrot, pineapple, lime, and ginger as well. Yeah, that is going to make a nice, beautiful Sunday drink, y'all guys. Okay. Yeah.
So, okay guys, it's potato time, roast potato time. See my roast pot there? Hopefully you can see. Yeah. So what I do, I'm going to roast the parsnip together with it. There you go, parsnip and the potato together. It will be fine. Let's chuck some oil, vegetable oil, or kind of oil, whatever oil you got. Sprinkle it over it. Yep. And to even make it even more delicious, pop them to Aldi or Lidl or any one of those supermarket. Get to send some vegetable roast or some roast potato. Specific if that's if you wish whichever one you prefer, but I'm going to mix the both of them. I'm going to add some potato roast in here and some vegetable roast. Almost tastes the same to me. That's it. So vegetable roast is a little bit more salty. Let's pop it in there. Both of them. Let's taste this one here. I don't know. They're kind of the same. Yes. Toss it. There you go. See me showing off. Yay. Let's top them up. Well, that one dropped, so I've got to wash that one off. <laughs> again yeah there you go or use your hands then don't just show off like me oh god that's keep on don't you know isn't it <laughs> yep that's just it really use your hands and then put in the roasting tray and that's it y'all guys but I'm going to put some um Greaseproof paper in the bottom of my yeah there you go Just put it in there yeah it will be nice and tasty my bit behind guys so big so behind when I'm making vlog and cooking at the same time it takes up so much time it's unbelievable <coughs> Yes, it takes up time. Okay. And what I'm going to do now. Yeah, I think that's it. Get some more oil in there. I like mine to taste nice and crispy. And that's it, so guys. That's it. Yep. That's it. <clears throat> so now, I'm going to... So, okay, guys. The way I make my gravy is that the leftover um, juice from the chicken, you know, when you cook the chicken, there's that um, juice that come off it, like the water or the fat that come off it. All you have to do, don't wait until the fat is dry out. You know, take it out right away, put it into a different container that I've got here. And of course, with some seasoning like pepper scallion onion and just had some of this um bist bisto to it and yes some people just make the gravy just like this without the water hot water and with this but you know i'm jamaican so you gotta have some season isn't it <laughs> so yeah so that's how i make my gravy guys and you can see i don't want it too thick i just want it enough to can you know, a compliment, compliment the chicken. That's that the word. Yeah. When you run this over your night, your roast chicken, look at that. It will probably be so delicious. So I'll boil it down some more to get a little bit thicker. And yeah, that's the gravy. And I'm going to fry the mushrooms now. Let's see. Let's put this in the, in over here. Very few in the kitchen now, guys. Turn that down. Small frying pan. <laughs> yeah. So that's it. So I'm going to share dinner now because it's late. <laughs> 
for Sunday. It's late, guys. It's late, but you know, I've been running late. So, okay, there it is, guys. That's my Sunday roast. <coughs> yes, that's roast chicken, roast potato. I've got some mushroom in here, some parsnip, and Yorkshire pudding. This one is Yorkshire pudding. They all look, look the same because they are all roasted. So I'm going to add some gravy now. Yeah. Gravy. Yeah, that's delicious. Lots of gravy. Yeah. And my carrot juice. So there you go, y'all guys. Roast British dinner slash Jamaican. So you know the trade. If you're first time here, guys, please subscribe. Follow me on my Instagram, which is Classyandra, Classyandra. Drop a comment in my box below, guys, please. And yes, as I said, I need your help. Please get in touch with me on Instagram, Classyandra, Classyandra. Tell me the kind of video you would like to see from me. So I'm going to log out now. I'm going to go and have my dinner. Bye, guys. Bye. Mmm. You go. Wow. Try it. Delicious.